The next thing to think about when setting up your cage is your, is your wheel. Uh, a little bit of a disclaimer on wheels. There is no perfect wheel. So you need to evaluate the pros and cons of each type of wheel. If you search around on the internet long enough, you will find safety hazards for just about every wheel out there. So there's no perfect wheel, um, but keep in mind, I kind of use the swing set analogy. My kids had a swing set uh, when they were younger. Uh, they played on it, there was a lot of value to it, but they could have jumped off, broken an arm, broken a leg, but the benefit of the swing set outweighed the risk. A trampoline, however, I preferred the netting because the risk of jumping on the trampoline without, um, without the netting was too high. I wasn't willing to take that risk. So these two wheels that I have, the silent spinner and the comfort wheels, I would compare them to swing set safe. There is risk and I will go talk about those individually, but either one, uh, the benefit uh, is, is strong enough that it, they are a good idea. The KT um, Giant Comfort Wheel is one of my favorite wheel options for ease of clean, cleanliness, easy to clean. Compared to some of the other options, it does have little ridges in it for traction. Um, you do wanna make sure that you get the giant 12 inch wheel compared to some of the other wheels that are much smaller that can um, actually cause damage to the hedgehog's spine if the wheel is too small. So the advantage of this wheel is compared to some of the other wheels, it is easier to clean. Disadvantage is that it does have a plastic on plastic axle, which is squeaky. So the, the disadvantage is squeaky and loud. So if you're a light sleeper, this might not be your best option. Advantage is that it is easier to clean than some of the other options. The silent spinner is another type of wheel option that you can find in pet stores and what we carry in our shop. One of the main advantages of this type of wheel is that it does have an actual bearing. So the bearing is what makes it relatively silent compared to some of the other plastic on plastic axle options. When you're cleaning this wheel, there are a couple um, things to take into consideration that makes it a little bit more difficult. Uh, this type of wheel has two pieces, the white piece and the green piece. And it, when the hedgehogs run on their wheel, they often like to potty on the wheel. And so that can make this crack dirty and harder to clean. Um, one advantage, one thing that you can do is use Glad Press and Seal, which is in the section of the grocery store, Walmart, where the saran wrap is. You can simply line the interior of the wheel with the Glad Press and Seal so that you can pull that out and that helps protect this, this crack here. You, I do not suggest taking this wheel apart because these little tabs are fairly delicate and if you should happen to crack or break one of these tabs, um, it does not allow the wheel um, to have a tight fit and injuries can happen if this piece of the wheel is not tight and secure like it is when you first purchase it. Purchase it. Another caution that I suggest when cleaning the wheel is if you can avoid getting this part, the bearing um, wet because it does have metal components to it and that can cause damage over time. Both of the wheel options that we have have, to have two options to attach them to the cage. You can set them on the base as they come, uh, which is fine. You will have some movement if the hedgehog likes to move it around. They also have an option to attach it to the side of the cage. So this one has a simple piece that unscrews and you slide it through the cage, the wires of the cage, and then put that back on. Simple enough. And this wheel has this little plastic piece that you simply turn to vertical so that it holds it onto the cage wire easily. So again, two options to put your hedgehog wheel in the cage on the stand that it's designed with or attach it to the side of the cage. One caution when attaching it to the side of the cage is that you want to make sure the hedgehog can easily get into the wheel. You don't want it much higher than this. You can kind of see with my fingers because if the wheel is too high, obviously your hedgehog is gonna have a hard time getting in and out of the wheel.